Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our ignition control module. Now this ignition control module is going to be located right inside this area directly underneath each of these three coils. So to do these, we're going to have to go ahead and remove the wires from them, pull it off to the side, and then remove all the bolts for each of these coils. There's going to be six bolts to go ahead and remove these so we can gain access to this area right here. Obviously, it's going to be a good idea to go ahead and mark your wires so you know exactly where they need to go back. Now let's go ahead and start removing these. I'm going to give it a little twist, pop it off, give it a quick inspection to make sure I don't see any funny colors or damage in any way. Set it aside. We'll do the same to this one right here. Set that aside as well. There's one. Now we can start to see that ignition control module. We're going to keep going on removing the rest of these. Now with all the coils off of the control module here, you can carefully grab onto it and we're going to carefully lift it up and off. Now the next thing you want to do is get ready to dismount the electrical wiring harness that leads to it. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bolt right here using a 7 millimeter. Slide that off of there. You want to give your wiring harness a quick inspection, make sure you don't see any corrosion. That looks good. There it is, friends. Now the next thing I always like to do is go ahead and clean off this area where that control module is going to want to sit. We don't want to have any of this debris in the area. That's going to, of course, cause an issue where moisture might be able to accumulate underneath here and you might find that you have an electrical issue. All right, now we can go ahead and install our brand new control module. To do this, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you slide this into its proper position. We'll use a hand ratchet to tighten this up. Okay, so right there it's bottomed out. Just want to make sure that's nice and snug. We'll give it a wiggle. Now let's go ahead and put this in position on this bracket. You can see where all of your mounting holes are inside the control module. You also have the mounting holes inside that bracket that's located right underneath it. Get that lined up, should sit right into place. The next thing I always do is just take a little bit of dielectric grease and I'm just gonna put it on each of these terminal ends here. This is gonna help keep moisture away from the area and help prevent corrosion over time. Now it's time to put on our ignition coils. Looking at the bottom, you can see the area where those terminal ends need to sit. Let's go ahead and get that lined up. Slide it down and into position. Now we can start in our mounting bolts. I always start in both of my mounting bolts before I snug anything up. It really only makes sense. Go ahead and get this in there a little bit. Okay, there's that. Let's continue on up the line with the rest of our coils. Start in all of those mounting bolts and then we can snug them like I said.
Now that we have them all started, let's bottom them out. Now, once you have your bolts snugged up, go ahead and torque each of the bolts to 40 inch pounds. All right, there's that one. Just do the same to the rest. Now, before we go ahead and put on our spark plug wires, go ahead and add a little bit of dielectric grease to each of the terminals. All right, now we can go ahead and start reconnecting our spark plug wire. This terminal end right here is going to be for spark plug wire number one. That goes to the first cylinder. Put it right in there. Now the next one is going to be for cylinder four. Moving up, we're going to go to cylinder five wire. So just go ahead and check those wires. Next, cylinder two. After that, you've got three and then six. Make sure all of your wires are completely on there. If you have one that's up a little bit, you could potentially have a misfire. All right, friends, we got it all back together. What's left to do now? Now you just want to hop in the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle, make sure you don't have a check engine light, and you don't see the engine shaking around as if you have a misfire of some sort. After that, take it for a road test. 